how big would you say the community is in Lebanon? It's still, it's still growing. We, when I started, there were like 70 people or something, or at least that I knew, and now that you've got like nearly a thousand. If you look at people that have practiced, practiced for a bit of time, I mean, it's probably about around 200. But if you count everybody in that, that's just starting and just fooling around a bit, it's probably around a thousand. I don't know how many girls there now are in the Netherlands, but I think five into ten, but not more than it. And how many men do you think there are? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> too many. <laughs> and I used to be able to like name everybody, but uh, no, I can't do anymore. <laughs> it's like too many. Well, I've been noticing, if you see um, around where I live in, in Barneveld, there's been mass, it's been, uh, the growth's been exponential where the people are training. You've got like, First I was the only, me and my friend, we were the two of us and now there have been like 20 people. Just because you inspire people by moving and they start to move as well. Do you think kids today coming into parkour have it very differently to how you had it? There are so many people practicing now, so many high level and skilled people, that there's a lot of help you can get. And I think that's, that really is beneficial to the people that start now. Well when I started there was barely any information for me. I've, I saw some videos on YouTube from like big names back then. But um, other than that, there wasn't really any information around, no tutorials whatsoever. No one know each, knew each other before and now everyone's just good friends, so it's always just a bit yelly and everyone's yelling at each other, just move away you, uh, I'll do this first. I, I think it's, they sh should still have like a, um, a period of like, well maybe just, just playing around and I think it's really good for, for, your, for practicing, I mean that, that, that it shows you what you can do and, and what you want to do. There, there's a lot of people that, that train with each other and that might be just the best idea anyway, just not really having a feeling of uh, being attached to something, but just, well, just playing around and, and then training with each other. Well, actually I noticed that um, there are loads of kids starting now at young ages, and usually they start about 17 and stuff, and now, as you can see, there are guys from nine or, or even younger than who are starting now, so that changed. And how old are you now? I'm 36. Do you know many people of your age doing parkour? No, I'm probably the, the oldest in, in Holland, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a teacher, so I, I get around with a lot of uh, young, young people. And I, I think parkour is a very positive thing for them to do. I got two, two kids and uh, I, I, I love it when, when I can play with them in the, in the, in the park, in the, in the playing grounds. And just do the same things uh, as they do. Yeah, it's a good thing. And what's the parkour community in the Netherlands like? Is it big? Is it well organized? Is it friendly? Well, it's, 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 it's friendly. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, that's one of the things uh, that, that uh, really um, uh, yeah, stole my heart. That's why I uh, uh, keep practicing because everybody was, is very open and uh, come and train. Uh, and there's no difference uh, for, for uh, age or, or gender. It doesn't, doesn't matter. And we're going to, as you know, quite a few different countries. And from here we go to Cologne, to Copenhagen, to Vienna, Milan, Barcelona and Paris. We don't quite know how to, what to expect for these different communities. Do you think they're all going to be very different? You see very big things in, in Russia. You see very smooth uh, moving in, 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 in England. And uh, the French, they have a very raw uh, style. So there's a style difference. I think you can, can see that, yeah. The, the spirit that I train with is, is more or less the same, but you, you, you find that, that you are shaped by your environment. So if you live in an environment with a lot of walls and, and long distance gaps, then that's what you'll train. And if you have a lot of rails or, or high walls, then that's what, what you become best in. I think there's, there are differences, but the, it's, it's not uh, a difference in, in parkour, I think. It's more uh, the, 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 yeah, the spirit of the people uh, that differs in, in, in different countries. I think that will be... Uh, it, it, it reflects in, in the things we do. Do you have any problems with the police or the authorities that you build these I, I was in England uh, two weeks ago and it was a lot worse there. I mean, you got shoot off like instantly at some places. And I, I reckon it's, that's, it's a lot better here. I barely got kicked off. Unlike in Cambridge or something, I've I've been there in uh, I've been there a week ago, and you couldn't last for 20 seconds on 20 minutes on a spot, and then you've got a guard or a policeman kicking you off or chasing you, in the worst case scenario. <laughs> Maybe it's because of we start in the beginning we started really, well with small groups and always trying to communicate with the police and always trying to tell us, tell them what we do and so especially where I live I've, 
I've been training there for six years and, and the police know what I'm doing and if they see us they're happy that we're well giving the, the kids something to do and not that they have to stand on the streets or anything.